Good morning, it's Tuesday morning. I'm running late, I think it's about 20 to 10 and I'm just, just taking Jenny out for a walk. Um, we had a really lovely weekend, drove up to Nottingham to see my daughter at university. Spent the day with her all day Sunday. <clears throat> we set off at half four in the morning, so got there, took her out for breakfast. Walked around town a bit, bought her a few bits, treats. And then, um, yeah, just had a really, really lovely day to do together with her and then dropped her off back at uni and drove back down again yesterday it took a bit longer than we'd hoped there was some big like um, tanker fire on the m5 <clears throat> so there was quite a bit of congestion we went past it it was all melted and oh it looked awful so i'm hoping that nobody got injured in that um and then i went straight to the auction viewing, had a little look, and then last night, housework and leaving bids and all that sort of thing, so I feel tired this morning. Um, yeah, I'll get on walking the dog and I'll catch up with you later. final auction at that particular auction house that I've let bids at and uh, when I went to the viewing yesterday afternoon I heard quite a few people say oh I've come down because it's the last one and I just thought that's not good is it that means that everything's going to go really high so I left bids last night I even put a few more on this morning and I've just had if you bid through the sale room you just get an email every time you're out bid and I've just had like a huge list of emails, you've been outbid, you've been outbid, you've been outbid, you've been outbid. So I've got that dilemma. Do I sit and watch the auction and end up paying more because I know that I'll get dragged into bidding or do I just leave it, write it off and get on with my day? I had quite a busy day on Saturday, including selling a piece of furniture, a desk. So I've got a gap over here. The desk was up against the back of this. And I need to start making room for Christmas trees because I think this weekend is uh, tree day. Sunday when the shop's shut. Can't do it when the shop's open, it's too much work. So Sunday, Monday when the shop's uh, shut is my tree putting up and decorating day. Um, the actual decorating is the least stressful. <laughs> it's the putting the trees up and putting the lights on that's the hardest bit, but also moving the furniture around. So I've got to clear the stuff out the window, clear some space in the middle. Somehow I've got to work some magic and make some space. You can probably hear the auction in the background. I've just got it on playing while I'm working. Okay, so what have I done? I really wanted to put that wardrobe in the space where I'd sold the desk down that end of the shop, but it's too deep. It would block my doorway into the stock room. So I've had to leave it where it is. I've cleared all the stuff at the front here. That's the table that I'm gonna put my Christmas tree on one of them anyway. So that's there in place. And then over in the window, I've moved a bigger table with lots of things on and there's just that little table with a couple of lanterns and a vase, which I can easily move last minute. I've put loads of stuff outside. So this is that table that was in the window. That was the one that was in front of the wardrobe thing. I've put that stuff there for the time so being. So this morning I've sold this, but they don't know when they're gonna come and collect it. I'm hoping that they come this week because if they come this week, that wardrobe at the front will fit there perfectly. I say wardrobe because that's what we used it as. It was my daughter's when she was a little little toddler. We had it as a kid's wardrobe. It's just a cheap, I think it's possibly Ikea or something or Argos or something, it's any cheapy thing. Um, I just brought it down in the shop to clear it. Um, right. Better make myself a cup of tea because I've not had enough tea today. So while the kettle's boiling, I need to check out my windows because I know that I sold stuff out the window. So I want to replace things so there's not big gaps in the window. So that's a job I need to do today. Um, I need to oh, phone or message the garage and book my car in for a service like you do. Oh, and I've already emailed the doctors. I tried to go I, yesterday after I'd done the auction viewing and all that. I, I went to the doctors, to the receptionist, to try and make an appointment. And um, I think you have to self-diagnose yourself before you get there 
to see whether you can get an appointment or not. Is it an emergency? Well, how do I know if it's an emergency? I'm not medically trained. Um, anyway, we came to the conclusion it'd be easier if I emailed, did an email consultation. So I've done that. Otherwise, I'd be waiting well into November for an appointment unless I could prove it was, you know, I was on death's door. Great service. I had quite a busy morning, but it just went dead, dropped off a cliff. It does that sometimes. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, somebody brought me two big bin bags bulging. Hang on. Look at that. Bulging with bubble wrap. Oh, lovely. I was away over the weekend. I took a load of photos. Um, we did a really nice walk from West Bridgeford, which is like a suburb, into Nottingham city centre, sort of over the canal and stuff. So I thought I would do a little montage for you because it's quite nice. Um, hope you enjoy. <music>
to a really old guy. <laughs> and I just put all my books and things over there that aren't of great value. And I sell them all for two pounds each. And um, he said, oh, I was going to ask you how much it is because there's not really any sort of sign. Um, but I can see on the front it says how much it is. <laughs> and it was the, the price that it was when it was originally made. So it was 80 pence. So I just took the 80 pence. I didn't have the heart to tell him that inflation and all that. But never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, I sold that big elephant today. So beautiful. And she fell in love with it, which makes it all the worthwhile, doesn't it? You know when somebody buys it because they just want something. But when they actually fall in love with it and she gave it a name and everything. At the weekend, we stayed at this apartment um, in West Bridgeford. It was really nice. Um, I took some photos. I'm going to do a little video, but I'm going to do it as a separate video because I know that these photo montage things can get a bit much. So if you want to have a look, it'll be a separate video. <laughs> Um, so what I've been doing, I've just been faffing about editing photos and stuff for a little while. I've been a sit down after a busy morning. Um, now I want to do a carry on doing a bit more tidying and sort of prep for the weekend when the Christmas decorations are coming. Um, if you are interested in Christmas decorations, then please do have a look at my website. If you go to the Fair Trade drop down you'll see all the felt decorations um glass baubles beautiful little crackle glazed ones um there's wooden decorations there's metal ones but they're all fair trade so if you're interested go have a look i've put baskets and things up here just as a temporary measure until my trees are put up I'm probably gonna have to rearrange this whole midsection and I've got to get lights and things up here. I don't know if I'll get it all done over the weekend or whether I'll do the trees and then put the lights up slowly over time. It's not easy on my own either. Last year I had my daughter helping me, so um, she's not here, so she can't help me. <laughs> it's gone four o'clock, so I'm already a bit late finishing off this vlog, aren't I? I'm gonna get it up tonight. Um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little walk in Nottingham and a little bit of a catch up this morning. Um, look forward to hearing your comments and thumbs up are always appreciated. Thank you very much. Take care, stay safe and I will see you soon.